welcome to Real World AIP, the YouTube channel dedicated to helping you implement the autoimmune protocol, but it's probably going to be helpful to you if you're into clean eating and whole foods in general. I'm Stacy, and today is another episode of Minced. What is minced? Minced is I pull ingredients out of mason jars and try to whip up a tasty dish with whatever random ingredients I pick out. So let's head over to the mason jars and see what I'm working with today. Dun, dun, dun. Pork, plantain, or banana. We're looking at Caribbean almost, huh? Balsamic. Well, not maybe Caribbean. Soup or stew or Italian. <sighs> I'm not, I don't love soup all that much. Balsamic Italian, pork meatballs, blended with plantain. Hello. I actually had a couple of pounds of ground pork in the fridge and I have a pound of ground beef. So I'm just gonna do a three pound batch cook, like what the heck. For the plantain, I have some raised plantain. I call it plantain couscous. In the description, I'll put a link to the recipe on my website. I think I'm gonna use that for breadcrumbs. I'll put the balsamic right into the meatballs and then I'll actually use it to make kind of a, a, a sauce in the pan. And I'm gonna use these, I'm gonna cook these in a method that reduces the formation of advanced glycation and products and all those other bad things. And then Italian seasoning, that's easy. We'll throw in some minced garlic, some Italian herbs. The Italian blend I've been using lately has lots of parsley, lots of basil, lots of oregano, and a little bit of rosemary and a little bit of thyme. So I'm gonna use that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is get this three pounds of uh, pork and beef, two pounds of pork, one pound of beef into the bowl. My rule of thumb for um, ground beef, ground beef, ground beef, ground meat is uh, a teaspoon of salt per pound. So we're gonna go one, two, three. And the Italian seasonings, I'm gonna go one, two, three, extra heaping teaspoons. Probably close to like two tablespoons. And to this, I'm also just gonna throw in a bunch of garlic. This is probably like six to eight cloves of garlic. I had a couple of lemon wedges sitting around. I'll just throw the juice in just for a little acidity. Gonna use this organic balsamic I got from uh, Vital Choice. Like a tablespoon to two tablespoons. This is raised plantain or plantain couscous. There's a link below to how I made it. I'm gonna eyeball this. I'd say it's a cup and a half. Just using it like breadcrumbs. I do not have a kitchen aid. If I did, I would have it mix this for me, but I'm gonna get in there with my hands. I like one ounce meatballs. I like them all to be the same so that they cook uniformly. So I have three pounds here. So that would be <laughs> 16 times three, 48. Roll them out. My meatballs are rolled. So I put one pound of them in the pan. I have some beef, beef broth cubes left over from when I made um, some kind of beef in the crock pot. In the crock pot, instant pot. I'm gonna put like, it's probably a cup's worth of stock in there. Um, there's no oil in the pan. I'm just gonna bring that up to medium high heat. I'm also gonna throw in some sliced onions and a little extra chopped garlic. So this is one sliced onion. A lot of garlic, like another eight cloves. And then I am just going to cover these. And wait a good five, 10 minutes until I smell something that needs to be flipped. These are in all kinds of liquid. I'm gonna get a spatula out just for my friend Joe because I know it will make her so happy to see me use a proper utensil. This is for you. Okay. I'm just gonna flip these. Now at this point, I'm gonna let this liquid reduce a little bit. So I'm not gonna cover it. I'm just gonna keep it going been about 90 minutes to be exact. Probably go another 10-ish minutes without the cover. So I stepped away for about 10 minutes and as you can see a lot of that liquid 
is reduced. Ho, 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 ho. They're not meatballs, they're maize balls. I'm going to continue letting this liquid evaporate for another few minutes. It's been exactly 20 minutes since I started these. Oh, they're perfect. At this point, I'm just going to add some balsamic to cut the fat and to just make sure we get all the good stuff out of the pan. I'm going to just let these go for like another minute or two. So these are just gorgeous. Let's taste these. Oh wow. <clears throat> there is literally a party in my mouth. Oh man. That balsamic made, oh, those are really good. The rice, the plantain couscous gives them a really authentic meatball texture like there's breadcrumbs in them. And that balsamic is just so good and the caramelized onion and the garlic and they're seasoned just right and they're freaking amazing. You could give these to anybody and tell them you got them from the Italian place down the street and they'd believe you. <sighs> Winning. <laughs> they're, they're too good, I can't even take it. Let me know what you would have done differently had you gotten plantain, pork, balsamic, and Italian. I'd love to hear your ideas on what you would throw together. If you make this, let me know how you like it. Also, if you want more exclusive recipes that never hit YouTube, check me out on Patreon. I put out an exclusive recipe for my $2 and up patrons once a month, and you also get access to all the back recipes. There's all kinds of good stuff up there. February's was cream cheese. There's uh, no cooked, no tomato marinara, um, ketchup, mustard. All kinds of good stuff. Anyway, I hope to see you soon, and until then, be healthy.